Hi, everybody. March is National Nutrition Month. This is week two. So we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the theme for this week. If this is your first time tuning in, I am Kelly Houston, a registered dietitian and lactation counselor who works with people of all ages and genders to help them eat for fuel, eat for fun, and eat for life. This is week two of National Nutrition Month, and I'm really happy to be talking to you today about this week's theme and giving you some weekly tips on how you can maximize your nutrition so you have plenty of energy and stamina to live a life you love. Week two's action is be a registered dietitian. So you might wonder, is a dietitian different from a nutritionist? What can a dietitian do for me? Why should I spend my time or money to meet with a dietitian? These are great questions. Let's explore. The first question, is a dietitian different from a nutritionist? Short answer is yes. Here's the long answer. In the US, the term nutritionist is unregulated. That means that literally anyone can refer to themselves as a nutritionist and not technically be lying. The credential registered dietitian or registered dietitian nutritionist, abbreviated RD or RDN respectively, is a regulated credential. To earn that credential, one must complete a bachelor's degree. So currently, over 50% of registered dietitians have a master's degree or higher. And in 2024, there will be a requirement for a postgraduate degree similar to a pharmacist or physical therapist. In addition to the academic achievement, RDs to be must complete an internship where they have a minimum of 1200 hours of supervised practice. They must also sit for an mm -hmm. exam and obtain 75 hours of continuing education every five years to maintain the credential of registered dietitian. This all isn't to say that no one who is a nutritionist has any knowledge about dietetics, but if you do decide to work with a nutritionist instead of a dietitian, please ask them about their credentials and educational background. Question two, what can a dietitian do for me? Well, that depends on what you need. If you eat in a way that suits you with no physical complaints, sufficient energy to get through the day, no health concerns, no emotional distress about food or eating, it's possible a dietitian won't be able to help you with much. While some dietitians are generalists, many are specialized to a degree. Some dietitians help people with improving athletic performance, nutrition for specific conditions, including but not limited to high blood pressure, diabetes or prediabetes, high cholesterol, PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome, eating disorders, IBS or other gastrointestinal concerns, mental health concerns such as ADHD. And I want to note here that providing personalized nutrition advice for a health condition is referred to as medical nutrition therapy or MNT and can only legally be performed by a registered dietitian. Some dietitians help kidney patients who are undergoing dialysis, work in NICUs to make sure that babies get their best start at life, work in hospitals to make sure that clients with a new diagnosis, say congestive heart failure or diverticulitis, for example, can get off to a good start with dietary changes once they get home. Dietitians also work with determining the ideal type and amount of enteral nutrition or tube feeding that best suits a patient's needs, as well as working with those receiving IV or parental nutrition to make sure their electrolytes are balanced and they're meeting their energy needs. No matter their specialty or lack thereof, what a good dietitian does best is help their clients make changes that are actually helpful and will work in the client's real life. There are so many meal plans and general nutrition information online, but what a dietitian does is it helps to make those pieces fit for their client's life. The dietitian helps with the how of nutrition changes. Finally, why should I spend my time and money meeting with a registered dietitian? Of course, you know your schedule and financial situation best. If you find food or eating more of a struggle than it is fun, or if GI issues keep you in the bathroom constantly, or if you're overwhelmed with a new diagnosis and you're not sure what to do to help improve lab values, a dietitian can help you to decrease your stress around food and eating while increasing your quality of life with food. Food isn't going anywhere. We're gonna be dealing with it multiple times a day for the rest of our lives. We might as well make it as enjoyable as possible. As far as cost, while many dietitians do have various cash pay appointments or programs, many also accept insurance. Often, checking with your insurance company can provide you with local dietitians who are in network. While some plans only cover certain conditions like diabetes, many plans offer preventative benefits, meaning you don't have to have an actual diagnosis to get coverage. So thanks for watching week two of National Nutrition Month 2022. I'd love to hear if you've met with a dietitian before. How did it help? What was your experience like? If this video was helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, or share. As always, if you live in Illinois or Missouri and would like more personalized nutrition information 
or you feel that you struggle with eating or food in a way that energizes your life and fuels your passions, please feel free to reach out to hello at kellyhoustonrdn.com or visit kellyhoustonrdn.com schedule. Take care and see you next time.